He seems very bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and what he's finding to eat, I have no clue. But he seems very, very content and very, very alert. will let you know when they want heat um, and they'll gravitate if you have one heat source on if they need that heat they will um, gravitate to that won't you Sparky huh let's see if I can see here where your head is to pet you this morning how you doing Sparky hmm? how's my baby doing this morning cold it's cold at night and Sparky's outside pen is really cold and clammy so I added a lot more leaves to his um, outdoor pen and I left areas he likes some areas where he where there's no leaves and he'll hang out there so I left that as it is and I left another area over there where he likes to hang out over at that corner with no leaves so he has a choice. And I dumped some more leaves in his um, high-rise uh, turtle house. And I dumped a lot more leaves over in that corner. Over here is an area that I call a slug trap where I have an old habit hut I have back in that corner. So I added more leaves to that. And a lot of times Sparky, when he gets cold, he'll go underneath this um, ramp that goes up to his uh, turtle house. And um, so I added more leaves there. So uh, my tips are uh, to extend the life uh, of your turtle outside in cooler weather. Um, you you want to add more leaves to so that um, you know more dry leaves to top dress uh, the uh, the outside pen so that uh, it won't be so cold and clammy for them and. I uh, added a rock in here in the center of his uh, dilapidated um, hostas. And we've got a heat, 120 watt um, heat lamp there to warm up that rock if he gets too cold today. Because the winds are blowing and uh, it's in the 60s and the sun is just peeking through every now and then. So it's, it's pretty chilly out here. 
So, um, but I think that'll work for him. I want to extend his time outside. So my tips would be to have a heat source and have a flat rock uh, for them to bask and warm up when it's cold. And also what we're going to do is we're going to put some plastic over some of the area of the pen uh, as it gets colder so that it'll hold in some of the warmth so it won't be so cold. So that way he'll have a choice of um, the different areas where he can warm up and cool down. I've moved this 120 watt bulb down. Uh, I, I haven't measured it. It's a couple feet uh, from the uh, flat rock. So uh, I have this temp gun and I'm going to check it from time to time today because I don't want it to get too warm. Uh, say 85, it can go up to 90, it'll still feel just warm to the touch. See, it's only 65.9, so it's, it's not doing anything at this point because it's up too far. So I'm going to have to move it down a little bit closer. Sparky is enjoying his heat light uh, out in his outdoor pen. It's 615 though and there's no sun and the wind's kicking up so it's really cooling down. The rock that he's on it is um, 77 in some spots, 78 in other spots. So he's warm enough and he seems to really enjoy it so I figure I better bring him in by 630 somewhere. What's up Spark? You look awfully cute. How come you're not using your 125 watt bulb I have in your outdoor pen? Are you warm enough? It's only in the 60s. And this is an important issue that I have never really covered, I do not believe anyway. Um, when your turtle is in their outside pen and they forage for food and they find something like a slug, uh, they can get other things mixed in as they're eating and they can get little uh, pieces of stick or whatever that can get caught in their in their mouth and throat and so you have to be mindful watch for that so today that happened with Sparky he found himself a slug and I'm very happy he found himself some food and he's got a little bit of debris of it on his mouth so I'm really happy about that because he hasn't been eating anything and you know that I knew of but um, Anyhow, he found himself a slug today. And here's what was stuck out of his beak. And, um, you know, I don't know how sharp it is, but the point is, this kind of stuff can get caught in your throat. So you want to be really mindful of that. So I just took a hold of the end of it and held on to it and gently moved it. Because, you know, if it's something sharp, you could cut their tongue. And um, so anyhow, that's what I did. And he released it then. And so I'm sure he's much happier having that out of his, out of his mouth. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys and just to watch for that. How long that you can leave your turtle out? How long can you leave them out during the day uh, in fall? And we had a frost last night. It was in the 40s, uh, which is odd that we still had a frost. But uh, anyhow, it is 54 degrees now and the winds are four miles an hour and it's Sunday sunny and I have Sparky out now even though it is saying uh, that it's 54 it's also saying that um, it's also saying that it's uh, it feels like 62 and it feels pretty nice out now sometimes at 54, if there's wind blowing and there's no sun, it can feel very, very cold. Um, so anyhow, uh, you have to evaluate all of that if you're going to have your turtle out in the fall once the temperature starts to drop him. He needs that UVA, UVB, and uh, fresh air. So um, I'm going to extend his time outside for as long as I can this year. Are you doing okay? Huh? Are you roasting toasting outside today? I think it's the 6th. Is today October 6th? I forgot to look. He's loving it, aren't you? Is that door 
shading you. How's that? Hey, Sparky, how you doing, Punky? Hey, don't run off your log. Stay right there. Stay right there. <laughs> he wants to run, chase my shoes, don't you? I shouldn't have bothered him because he's going to think it's playtime. And it's not playtime, it's lunchtime. It's all the goody, tasty things that you won't eat. Greens and more greens and more greens. And I know you won't eat them. I don't know if you'll ever get desperate enough to eat them or not. Will you, Sparky? You ever get desperate enough to eat greens? I'll bring you a salad out so you can sit on it. How's that? You want you want a salad out here so you can sit on it? Huh? I know you don't, but I'm going to bring it anyway. Make me feel better. <laughs> oh, I brought Sparky out some veggies yesterday. And these are uh, done in the food processor. And this is squash red pepper, some parsley, and believe it or not, even though he don't eat veggies, I was able to get him to eat one bite of, I guess you would call it pate, because it's like raw veggies. Um, so, I just thought maybe, who knows, maybe he'll take a bite, which would be exciting if he did for me, to just take one bite See, I'm moving it because that makes it more interesting for a turtle. Um, and it, it really is quite good. And he's actually kind of sort of thinking about it. So this might be something to con consider if you guys can't get your turtle to eat is to try to put it in a food processor grind it up where it's tiny little pieces. Come on, Sparky. One bite. And yesterday I had chia seeds in it. Today I don't. But I can always put some in there. And... But you want the chia seeds moist. You don't want them to get clogged up in their tummy, in their intestines. In other words, you want to soak them if you do try them. Come on, Spark. Now I give. I'm going to make veggie crackers. Sparky, what do you think? Should I bring you in just yet? It's 6 o'clock. The temperature's going to be dropping. You want me to leave you out a little bit longer? All right, then. I'll leave you out a little bit. How about till 6.30? Is that good enough? Yeah, it'd be nice and cool by then. <laughs>